happy. We are all a victim of our own ignorance. With Wall Street hype and well-intentioned advice from friends and family, we can be misguided with our efforts to sustain our own financial lives. This is why the Strategic Wealth Network has produced the most comprehensive educational platform to learn about incredible opportunities that will give you the success and sustainability you want. Our most popular presentation thus far has been our simple, easy-to-follow lesson on life insurance. This particular lesson explains the origins of today's contracts and illustrates how we advocate for their design utilizing the reserve capital strategy while guaranteeing the enjoyment of tax-free growth and distribution. Let's take a look at the pricing or premium structure of insurance contracts. With any contract, first we must determine the minimum amount of insurance. This is known as the base premium. This premium is directly related to the amount of death benefit you will qualify for. There is an infinite number of premium choices. For any amount of death benefit, there is a minimum you can pay and a maximum you can pay. Why? Because of the different types of contracts that are available to cover the death benefit. An example of a minimum premium contract is cheap term insurance that gives you no economic living benefits. The insurance company determines the minimum premium for these contracts. Insurance companies have actuaries and accountants that calculate the least amount of premium they can charge to cover your death benefit and still make a profit. The maximum premium that is available to deposit into a contract is limited by the federal tax code. Why is this? Back in the 1980s, the government limited the tax-favored treatment of cash value in life insurance contracts. With the revelation of how many people that were avoiding taxation utilizing these contracts, Congress passed two laws, TAMRA and DEFRA, also known as the Terrible Twins. These two laws were in direct response to an overwhelming amount of cash being injected into single premium and universal life contracts during the late 70s. These contracts were being used as tax shelters instead of their intended use, protecting assets and beneficiaries from income loss. With the passing of these two laws, the term MEC was born. What the heck is a MEC? MEC in tax speak means modified endowment contract and could make your contract susceptible to a tax consequence just like the penalties and interest on qualified accounts. At this point, we need to understand that the government will always take their part before anyone else in any financial strategy. Given our financial partner is the government, the tax code puts limits on how much you can deposit into each reserved capital account. But the tax code does not limit how many reserved capital accounts you can have. We currently have clients that are enjoying the benefits of multiple reserved capital accounts. We prefer to structure our accounts as maximum efficiency contracts that try to avoid all future tax consequences. This means that the accounts we structure are performing to a maximum standard that gives the contract owner maximum benefits while attempting to avoid undue tax. Our contracts are structured to include at least tax-deferred growth, access to your capital, and timely liquidity options, along with tax-free distributions during retirement plus guaranteed death benefit. Now that we understand what our expectations for each of your contracts should be, let's talk about contract design. Our rule for contract design is maximum cash accumulation with minimal base premium. This usually equates to a 1 to 3 ratio for base premium to cash accumulation depending on your underwriting classification. Given this structure to your maximum efficiency contract, you will want to pay the most amount of premium to gain the most amount of living economic benefit. In summary, we want you to be aware of two very important differences between the contracts we design and the contracts that most people buy. Our designs give you maximum living economic benefit from the first day you open the account. This includes tax-free growth and distributions, a competitive return, higher contributions than ordinary retirement accounts, collateral opportunities, protected from creditors and lawsuits, a no-loss provision that means your principal is guaranteed from day one, and guaranteed liquidity and access. Remember, this is a strategy to preserve, utilize, and protect your wealth throughout your lifetime. These accounts will be used to flow your wealth into other opportunities that are available with the Strategic Wealth Network. As a member of the Strategic Wealth Network, you will receive a private consultation to discuss how you can start utilizing our reserve capital strategy. If you are not a current member, I strongly encourage you to join now. You will receive VIP access to me and my team. You may call our Member Advocate Hotline to join or complete your membership below by clicking on the Join Now button.